Hey everyone and welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create this sport typeface animation in Adobe After Effects. This type of animation is very popular among the designers and the thing is that it's fairly simple and you can achieve it with a couple of simple techniques. And in this video, you are going to learn how to set up a composition and you're going to learn how you can animate and squash and stretch typeface animation. So before we proceed further, all I want from you guys is that to hit that like and subscribe button as it would help me out a lot to grow my YouTube channel. Now let's begin. All right. I'm just going to start with the main composition. The width and height is set on 1920. The frame rate is set on 24 and the duration is 12 seconds and let's call it main. And then what I need to do is that on the next step, I'm just going to import the Jurgen Klopp image. So this is my main image and I'm going to increase its size a bit. So around here is good. And then on the next step, I'm just going to stylize it a bit further. So I'm just going to uh, duplicate it for two more times. I'm just going to add a fill effect and then I'm just going to push it for 10 pixels to the right. And then I'm going to do the same step. And then I'm going to do it, uh, push it towards left. But lastly, I'm just going to bring the uh, top character. Uh, I'm going to bring the character to top. So we'll have something like this. Let's adjust the uh, lines a bit. So I'm just going to do that quickly. Around here seems to be fine. And then I'm just going to turn these red colors into white. And then I'm going to select the main character. I'm going to add a hue and saturation effect. And then I'm going to turn the master saturation to minus 100. So I get a um, gray scale image. So that is nice. I'm going to pre-compose everything and I'm going to call character. And then it is time to animate this character. Well, to do that, what I need to do? Well, firstly, let's just increase its size a bit more. So this is going to be good. And then I'm going to press R to reveal rotation. First, I'm going to push the anchor point down. I'm going to hold Alt and I'm going to click on the stopwatch. So I'm just going to add a wiggle expression by 0.5 and 2. And also, let's just hold Shift and press P to open position. And then I'm going to add the same expression for the position as well. OK, that is nice. Now, on the next step, we need to add the background. So I'm just going to press Ctrl plus Y and I'm going to call it the solid layer of background. And then I'm going to bring the watercolor splash paper texture in here. I'm going to set its mode on multiply. And then I'm going to add an curves effect. Let's push it around here so we have some dark uh, texture. Also, we can add a new adjustment layer. Let's test and add the flicker effect by Borison Sapphire. So, okay, that seems nice. Now I'm gonna call it flicker. Now, here's the basic animation. Also, let's add the texture in here and let's its mode on add. And let's add a curves effect. And let's remove some of these dots like this. And also let's add a new adjustment layer. And I'm just gonna call it posterize time. And I'm gonna add the posterize time effect. And let's set the frame rate on both. So now we have this cartoonish effect, which is nice. Now let's go towards the main step, which is creating the typeface, which is quite easy. So I'm just going to create a new some composition and then I'm going to divide the height by five. So I will have in composition by 1920 by 384, but it's it okay. Now it is time to, as you saw in preview, it is time to design and animate boxes. Well, to do that, what I need to do is that I'm just going to double click on the rectangle tool to create a box and I'm going to call it box. And then I'm going to duplicate this box. And what I need to do is that I'm just going to push the right box around here. 
and I'm gonna give it a bit of space like this and then let's just bring the box in here so this this is going to be our first box we can to be honest give it a bit more space so I'm just gonna push the box to a bit to here and then I'm gonna just make it around here okay that is good now what I will do is that well, let's just mm, close the gap a little bit more I'm gonna P to open the position I'm gonna set a position and then on one second what I need to do is that I'm just gonna push this box all the way backward and this one to here and now let's adjust it a bit so we'll have something close okay that seems fine and let's uh, set the easings on 75 percent and let's finish the loop like this okay that is nice now it is time to animate the typeface so to do that I'm just gonna go towards the type tool and for the first one I'm gonna write the word legend now the font is set on right grotesque black black seems to be fine however we need to de stretch it a bit so I'm just gonna set it on 100 to see the original top typeface and then I'm just gonna stretch it a bit like this Okay, that seems to be fine and then what I need to do is that I need to duplicate this text one more time and this time I need to go and change its font size and I'm gonna change it to a thin one and let's just decrease it its size and then I'm gonna place it in here and this time let's set the stretching like this and we can also still set it on 200 it's okay okay this is our legend and I'm gonna save this I'm gonna turn these two text layers however I'm just gonna need these two into shaped layers so I just Turn them into shapes and let's go towards the crazy shapes and set some path keyframes. And when the box goes here, we need to stretch this text. So this is easy. I'm just gonna set the second uh, keyframe in here, second sets of keyframe from this layer in here. And then I'm gonna copy these keyframes. And once in one second, I'm just gonna press P to here. So we will have something like this. However, I need to press Shift and P to open the position. And when it's in here, I'm just gonna adjust the position all the way to here. Okay, so we don't need this legend layer anymore because we have something like this in here. And now it is time to adjust the position of this text so I'm just gonna set it on here okay that seems nice so let's set the easings on 75% as well and then on two seconds let's bring it back to its original position now the same step we need to repeat for the um, Jurgen Klopp name so I'm just gonna reveal these two texts again let's reveal them one more time and this time I'm gonna call it Jurgen Klopp same as the second layer Jurgen Klopp and let's reveal the box and let's 
push them above the boxes so we can see them and let's uh, select the second box and the first box in here and let's decrease its font size to here so this is nice and let's reveal the second box and let's decrease it like this and we can still extend this like this and now what I need to do is that I'm just gonna again turn these two layers into shapes and again we need to repeat these same steps so I don't need this, these two texts anymore let's reveal the boxes and when it's in legend now we need to start applying it from here so let's go towards the let's hide the text this time I need to set the Jordan Club in here. So I'm just gonna move it to here. And I'm just gonna fix its size a bit. And uh, let's just increase its uh, stretching. And what I need to do is that I'm just gonna create a new, uh, I'm just gonna set some path keyframes out here and on one second let's push it in here and then when it goes to here I'm just gonna stretch it to the second layer which is in here and now I need to press shift plus P to open the position and then I'm just going to adjust the position to here. And also, I just need to add a bit scaling since I squatted a bit. Great. Now let's just apply the standard easing so we don't need this layer anymore. Let's just watch and see what we have done. Okay, so we made this text like this. And let's just play with the offset in here. I need to animate this text. So let's just Get the first end set of keyframes and paste it in here. Okay, that is nice. We made our squash and stretch text. Now, what I will do is that I'm just gonna get back to this bump. Let's just call it the typeface. I'm gonna add the typeface beneath the character. I'm gonna place it in here and then I'm gonna duplicate it one more time I'm gonna place it in here and one more time here so we can even select them and then in align tab I can make sure that the distance are the same great okay now that we have this animation let's just offset them a bit more so to do that what i need to do is that i'm just going to press u to re reveal all of the keyframes and then i'm just going to press ctrl plus c press v to copy the entire sets of keyframes for the entire duration of 12 seconds and then let's get back to the club composition and i'm gonna offset them by like exactly one second in here and this one, I'm just going to offset it, for example, like this. And also, let's just duplicate the texture and place it in here. So, here we are at the end of this video, and I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave out a like and subscribe to the channel as it would help me out a lot for the future content. Thank you so much. Goodbye.